Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this very short video, I'm just going to show the quickest and simplest way of compressing a video from a very large file to a relatively small file using an amazing program called Handbrake. If you don't already have Handbrake installed on your computer, you can download it from the website address listed underneath this video and shown on the screen now. Handbrake is available for Windows, Mac operating systems and Linux, and for those at King's College using SOE computers, it is also available from the Software Center to install on your managed computer. Once you've installed Handbrake, run it and you'll see this is the interface on the screen in front of you. I'm demonstrating this on a Mac computer, but the view of the Windows operating system is almost the same. As you can see, I have my movie in front of me, and this movie is approximately 350 megabytes in size, and it's only around 30 seconds long, but it's an HD movie, so we expect it to be fairly large. You'll notice also the movie is an MOV file, which is a QuickTime movie file, and I want to convert this to an MPEG-4 or MP4 file in order to share on social media or upload to a streaming server. So with Handbrake loaded, I grab my movie, and drag and drop it onto the interface. After a few seconds, Handbrake will load the file. What you need to do now is load one of the presets in order to compress your movie. By clicking on the Presets button, I would recommend you choose one of the formats in the General Presets list. For instance, I know this is a 1080p video, which is HD, and therefore I'm going to choose the Fast 1080p. If you choose the very fast 1080p, you may find the resolution isn't quite up to what you expect. So I'm going to choose fast 1080p. Now it's finished, I need to say where I'm going to save it. It's currently going to save to my folder on the downloads, but I'm going to change this and I'm going to change it to save onto my desktop. This will automatically save as an MP4 file, and if you wish to change the naming of the file, you can do so in the Handbrake Preferences. However, I'm just going to leave it as my program has as its defaults, and once I'm happy, I can click on the Start button. Handbrake will encode this video. It encodes at quite a fast speed if you've got a fast enough processor, and this 30 second video is probably going to take around 15 to 20 seconds to encode. We sped that video up a little bit, but you can see now that the software is telling us the encode finished. And now if I move it over onto the screen, we now have our webcam movie MP4 file. Just to show you the difference in size, if I show you the information of these two files side by side, you'll see the original file was 412 megabytes, and our newly compressed video 5 is a mere 26 megabytes. And you'll have to take my word for it, but the quality of the playback of these movies really won't be noticeably different. So that is how you can compress a video that you've just created using your webcam to a file that's much smaller in order to upload into a sharing site or use on social media.